Hello there, Glenn Anderson here, and in this video I'm going to show you some uh, warm-up exercises and mobility drills that uh, I like to do sometimes before I do my strongman uh, workouts. So uh, here I'm exercising on a bike. One of the first things I do when I go to the gym before I do anything else is just five miles on the stationary bike. Um, nothing hard. As you can see, I was checking my Fitbit there uh, just to keep an eye on my heartbeat. So I want to get my it's the purpose of this is just to get the heart rate up and uh, yeah, just get some blood flow in the legs and all that. Um, I only do five minutes on the bike, like I say, nothing heavy, nice and easy. Remember, you want to prepare yourself and prep yourself. You don't want to um, tire yourself out because you're going to be lifting, so you're going to need your energy for that. So just want to get the uh, heart rate up here and the blood flow in another good one for getting the heart rate up and the blood flow in the legs a little sled push you do here um, i like to use a yoke here because then that way i can push it there and then push it back with a sled sometimes the handles are going to be different on each side so it's a bit of a pain because you have to turn the sled around so i'll just use the yoke and it's a lot easier to do like that okay so moving on now um this one is just a curl up really it may seem like a simple exercise but this is a good prep so here i'm just raising my head slightly above the floor and just holding for 10 seconds on each side i normally do like three 10 second holds on each side and there as you can see i'm just raising my head ever so slightly um thing to remember this is you want to raise your head just ever so slightly as if you're raising it off a pillar not a big massive movement this is a very small movement and just hold that position there so this is quite a good drill to do it's actually part of the mcgill big three and another one that i like to do is the plank here so i just hold a plank for 30 seconds you can also do side planks as well if you want, but I prefer to just keep it simple and easy. Remember, you don't want to um, tie yourself out. You want to just prep yourself. So I always like to do um, some form of abs before just to like uh, activate the abdominals. And uh, plank is just a quick, easy get to. It's easy to do, easy to sit, set up. Uh, then I do bird dogs or sometimes to make it a bit more advanced you can do bird dog rows here I'm just using a 10 kilo dumbbell and I'm holding for 10 seconds and then of course I will switch to the other side and again a 10 second hold I'll normally do three of these on each side sometimes I might just do regular bird dogs um, it depends so uh, but this is another good variation you can use and then afterwards I will do some hip airplanes. These are really good for opening up the hip and these are good to do on deadlift days. So I just hold for 10 seconds. Again, normally three reps on each side. So just holding that position and then uh, three reps and then I move on and do the other side three reps um, all with a 10 second hold. So these are quite a good drill to do um, for lower body. Like I say, just opening up them hips there. Um, another exercise that I like to do sometimes um, is hip distractions. Just get a thick band, wrap it around your legs, and then I'm just pulling there and just distracting the hips. And again, this is um, another good exercise that you can do on lower body days, deadlift days, or squat days. Um, normally with these, I'll try and aim for about 45 to 60 seconds on each leg and go in the middle and then right to left and then um, this is another one I like to do just hip side to side just quite a simple movement really again you're going to be looking to do 45 to 60 seconds on each leg okay guys so uh, that's the video um, I hope you enjoyed it um, if you like this content and you'd like me to do one about how I warm up when I do upper body strongman please let me know and I'll work on that video okay cheers guys